Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Design Master Color Tour, your color design resource. And Fern Trust, the makers of Color Fresh and Delta Leatherleaf. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, we're creating a fun tablescape that's made from recycled wine bottles. Step one of our project is to prepare our wine bottles. I soak the wine bottles overnight in hot water and detergent. That loosens up the label and I'm able to scrape it off. If there's any residue left, I make sure that I get that off too, because you want a clean bottle to start with. Our next step then is to use a paint tape to create a pattern on the bottle itself. They come in different widths and you can create different patterns on the outside of the bottle. Actually pull off a strip and start it on the side, get it nice and even, and then wrap it around. That way, you mask off what you want to remain the color of the bottle. In this case, we masked off the top of the bottle and the bottom so that we get a piece that looks like a label. So you can do any pattern or design that you want. We probably tape off more of this bottle, covering up as much as we want to. And then where that tape is, we're not gonna have paint. Today, we're gonna use the modern metals from Design Master. This is the metallic taupe. And we just start by using light coats. Short blasts work best. We don't want to go heavy, because what happens if we go heavy? See how that starts to drip? Not a good look. We want to have those nice short blasts covering our bottle. So now, let me show you what that looks like. We've taken this, we've taped it off, and then we just pull off the tape. This is the best part of this project. Paint tape gives us great lines on the bottle. And what's cool about the modern metals too, you almost have a little finish there. There's a little edge on that paint really feels nice. One more piece. So, that's a really good looking bottle. Now we can also customize these further too if we want to. For example, this one looks like a label. So I can take and do my signature on the outside we could even put a date on it. And that way, it's a cool thing for people to have as a keepsake. Step two of the project is to create the foliages. There's an easy way to create the foliages by using Color Fresh from Fern Trust. I've got the bare grass in gold and their Ming in silver. But I want some other textures too. So we're gonna use the Salau to create a water relief pattern on the Salau itself. We use a bucket that has a plastic bag inside we're going to use Brilliant Silver and spray it on the surface of the water. It starts to bead up and then we can just take our Salau and dip it through that paint. When we bring it out, it has a great water resist pattern right on the Salau itself. Do a couple pieces like that. You'll notice it's real irregular. In this case, some of it's heavier at the bottom and not so much at the top. That's all okay. That's what makes it so unique and different. And notice the great contrast we have between something that's fully painted 
and something that has that water resist pattern. Then I want to paint some leather leaf. I love the Delta leather leaf from Fern Trust. It's the most beautiful leather leaf on the market. It's packaged perfectly. And the pieces are absolutely beautiful. Now when it comes out of here, it's got some moisture on it. That's the time that we want to use it. If it's already dried off, you can mist it with a little bit of water. That's okay too. Then, we take our Brilliant Gold. And spray a pattern on there. And then, we can take a paper towel and blot it. It just pulls off the paint where the water was. So it gives us a little bit more of a modeled effect. It's going to look great. Again, this is solid and this has a great effect. Love this leather leaf. It's awesome because it's just such beautiful pieces. So now we can add our foliages to the wine bottles. You'll notice that I've got about a dozen out here. Some have been painted, some haven't been. I think that wine bottles are so beautiful, especially when the labels have been removed. It's a clean palette for us to create something great like this for a table centerpiece. So we've got plenty of water inside here and we'll add the foliages throughout. I'm going to try and match the foliages to the wine bottle. So I'm going to use the golds in the gold bottles, the silvers in the silver bottles, and then the other ones I can mix and match. We could leave it just like this with foliages, but I want to accent with a few flowers too. These peach avalanche from Florida are gorgeous. Lilies are going to be awesome too. Grab a few pincushion protea. And some crispedia. Since the necks of the bottles are narrow, it's going to be pretty much one flower per vase. Flowers look great, but now it's time to add the fun with the Grispedia Yarrow. We'll leave these long and just put them all throughout the bottles. I'll tuck as many as I can in each bottle. Might be one, might be two, but just having them bounce all the way down the table over the tops of the flowers is really cool. It's a fun centerpiece, and it's recycled, but updated and personalized using Design Master Paint. Until next week, keep having fun with flowers. If you're having trouble finding bottles, call my stylist. She's got lots and lots of bottles. We were in California, lots of wine bottles all over the back of the car, all over the front of the car. Just kidding you. <laughs> I like that Jordan looked at her at least. Okay. <laughs>